Hi everyone, my name is Monique. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today, we're going to be doing a playthrough of a game called The Magnificent. Yes, this game is designed by Isla Svensson, as well as Christia Ostby, and it's published by Aporta Games. And in this game, we are going to be taking on the roles of performers and ringmasters mm -hmm. who are going to be traveling around the countryside to different tents and trying to put on the best show. This is a game that was released in 2019 and is designed by uh, the same designers as games such as Revive. And so this game was actually on a few of our Patreon community um, polls, but was never completely voted on. But a lot of people kept expressing interest in it. And so we just decided, you know what, let's just do it. It kept being the runner up on a bunch of polls and mm -hmm. we're like, well, it's second of four many mm -hmm. times in a row. <laughs> so let's just make this number one on the next one. Yes. And this game is a mix of mechanics, including dice drafting, as well as uh, there's polyomino tiles in it. And as per usual, we are going to start with the teacher of the game and then go straight into our two-player playthrough and end with a review. If you'd like to jump around, we'll include timestamps in the description below. Now, if you can all do us a big favor, turn on your Klingon subtitles, just in case we make any mistakes, we can add those corrections there. If we discover we did make a mistake, we'll add it to the description as well. Lastly, if you like these kind of videos and you want to see more in the future, please consider subscribing. And with that, we are ready to begin. So if you please direct your attention to the center of the table, we're all set up here for a two-player game of The Magnificent. Welcome to the show. Now, like I was mentioning earlier, this is primarily a dice drafting game. And so there are actually various aspects to the board that make up what we're going to be doing in the game. We have the main tent where we are going to be drafting dice. We have the travel area, which is representative of uh, us traveling to various areas to put on our show. Mm -hmm. We have our own camps where we're going to be placing polyomino tiles and the performance area because at the end of the day, the object of the game is to perform shows. Put on the best performance. Yes. Now, the way that the game works is each player has their own player board. And there's actually two different sides. We are playing on the A side, which is the suggested uh, starting setup. We didn't want to go through the advanced setup because uh, it's a lot simpler, I think, to just mm -hmm. do this. Yep. And one of the main differences is that each board is assigned a Roman numeral value that determines your starting master cards. And so this is an entire set that goes along with my player board. Mm -hmm. Now, each player also starts with a starting poster. And so these posters are going to be one of the main uh, points of the game. What are the main points of scoring? Over the course of the game, we're going to be acquiring these posters that give us some sort of objective to score. And these are always going to be a certain combination of camp tiles that we're going to be placing on our player boards. This shows the, the large purple tile. And so when putting on a performance, I'm going to need to have that purple tile in my camp in order to score it. Mm -hmm. And so that is just uh, the very simplified version of what our goals are going to be in the game. Now, the game is played over the course of three rounds, and each round, players are going to be taking four turns each. And so starting with the first player, on your turn, you're going to draft one of these dice and place it on one of your four master cards. Now, as you can see, we have three main colors that are going to come into play throughout the game. They're orange, green, and purple. The clear, anytime you see clear, um, that is considered a wild. And this is important because when you draft a die, you are going to determine the strength of your action based off of the dice that you have drafted so far. Since it's my first turn this round, the strength is just going to be three. Mm -hmm. I can boost it by discarding these gems that we have in our storage area. Gems discarded this way add two power to your die. But say on my second turn, if I were to draft another orange die, this would be a cumulative power. So instead of just three, the strength of my action that turn would be six. Mm -hmm. Which means if on my third turn I draft a purple die, but on my fourth turn I draft another orange die, then I would be able to add all of the orange dice together. Now the clear dice are a bit of an exception. So if I were to draft a clear die, I would add up the values of any one color of dice that I have uh, drafted that round. So in drafting that die, this could be either a strength of four purple or eight orange, if that makes sense. One thing though with the clear dice is they do not add power after the fact. So if I had drafted the clear dice on turn two and maybe I draft an orange die, you cannot add the value of the clear die ever again, essentially that round. Mm -hmm. Only when placing the clear die. So uh, the other thing about dice, which we'll talk about later, is at the end of the round, you are going to have to pay money for the uh, highest cumulative value of the same color die and any uh, clear dice. Mm -hmm. So just keep that in mind when drafting. Now, the other thing is players will have four master cards to use each round. And so each master card shows a different uh, sort of ability that you can activate at any time during your turn when placing a die there. So for example, this master card allows me to add plus two to specifically an orange die, but this one allows me to add plus one to any colored die. 
Um, other MasterCards are very simple, like this one, which just gets you a coin, but we'll talk about them more in detail as we play the game. The other thing that you'll notice is that MasterCards have a scoring criteria at the very bottom, and so each round, we're also going to be choosing one of them to score at the end of the round. Now, after you've drafted a die, you're going to choose an action to take, and in this game, there are only three different types of actions. The first type of action is called build, and this allows you to build camp tiles into your camp. And so after calculating your total power for the turn, you're going to refer to the chart that's on the left hand side of your player board here, and it tells you what type of tiles you can take. But the tiles you take have to always be of the color of the die that you drafted. And so in this example, I would have to take an orange die, and that's important because the shapes are actually different depending on which color you're using to take this action. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I meant tile. tile. <laughs> you have to take an orange tile because I drafted an orange die. Correct. So let's just say this turn I had drafted this die and I activate uh, this MasterCard's power, which gives me a plus one. My total uh, power would be seven, which means referring to my chart, I would be able to take two small tiles. You can always choose a, uh, a category that is less than your current power, mm -hmm. but taking two small tiles would mean I would be placing these two shapes. Now, your first tile placement can be anywhere in your camp, but after that, each subsequent tile placement has to be orthogonally adjacent to one that's already in your camp. And to be clear, if I really wanted to boost to the next level, which would gain me one large tile and one small tile mm -hmm. instead of two small ones, I could discard uh, one orange crystal to increase my power by two, or even a clear crystal, because again, these uh, clear crystals are wild. And you'll also notice that there are different bonuses in your camp area, so anytime you cover a bonus, then you gain it immediately. And bonuses are going to be stuff like coins, or clear uh, crystals, or even points. So anytime you see tickets, that stands for points in the game. Mm -hmm. By taking this action, you may also gain these trainer marker bonuses, um, and we'll talk about what the trainers do later, but just so you know, each player starts with one of them. At the end of the game, you'll also score additional points for each square that you've completely filled. So your board has nine different squares and each will score an additional four points for being completely filled. Mm -hmm. All right, the next type of action allows you to travel and that has to do with the travel section on the main board. Each circle corresponds to a specific die color and depending on the die that you drafted, you're going to move the wagon the number of spaces equal to your power. You actually can move it up to the amount of yes. your power. Yes, you can always go uh, fewer spaces. Wagons always move in a clockwise direction and any uh, spaces that you move past that contain these crystals, you actually get to take from the supply. Mm -hmm. So the orange is gonna be most abundant in orange crystals, the mm -hmm. green and the purple. And by the way, your storage can only hold three of each color of crystal. And mm -hmm. so any additional crystal that you need to take uh, past what you can store is going to instead give you one coin. Now, other things that you'll see on these wheels are these tent tiles. And so you can claim one of them only if the the wagon lands exactly on that spot. Mm -hmm. And when claiming a tent tile, you're actually going to choose one of the available uh, tent areas at the top of your board and gain whatever bonus is on the spot when you place the tent tile there. So in that case, you would gain a poster card as well as two wild gems. Yes, they will always gain you a poster. And poster cards, when taken, can either be taken from the top of the deck or one of the ones face up. And whenever you take a poster card, you're going to place it on one of the slots at the top of your player board. This is very important because you cannot rearrange them uh, typically. And in order to perform a poster card, you have to have a tent below it. Mm -hmm. So there is a pre-printed tent on the, the left side of your player board, so you'll always be able to at least perform one of them, I suppose. Sure. But players can only have a maximum of four tent tiles on their player board. So mm -hmm. once you've taken your fourth tile, then you can not claim any more of these. Sure. And we'll be talking more about these posters uh, in the next action. Uh, once you've taken a tent tile, by the way, it uncovers a new spot that gains you a poster. And these act very similarly to the crystal spots where all you have to do is pass through it in order to be able to take a poster. Mm -hmm. And that is essentially how all three of these uh, travel areas work. And so the last type of action allows you to perform. And so this is how we actually perform the various posters that we acquire throughout the round. All right, I've created an example <laughs> to discuss this action. So in taking this action, you're actually going to uh, calculate the power of your dice, just like in the other actions, but you're going to completely ignore the color. Mm -hmm. 
And depending on your total power, you're going to choose one of the spots on the performance track. So for this example, let's just say I drafted this die this turn, just so we can have a total power of eight. So it'd be three, six, seven, eight. Mm -hmm. If it's your first time taking the action this turn, then you're going to move the hat that's already on the track. So I would move up to the eight spot, which is here. This tells you how many posters you're allowed to uh, perform in this action. So taking this spot will allow me to perform up to two. I could choose to take this spot and not perform any if I want to, yep. but it's in my best interest to perform them. Now I can perform up to two posters that I have both met the requirement for and have a tent uh, token below them. Mm -hmm. This poster just requires me to have the uh, large purple tile in my camp, which I do. It's right there. And so the reward is listed at the bottom of the card, which would be uh, three coins. In addition, you also get the reward for the tent that's below it, sure. which would be an additional two coins for a total of five. The other poster is a little bit more complicated because it requires all three of these tiles and notice it requires the same tile as the previous poster. You cannot double dip using one tile. You, for In this scenario, I would have to have two separate tiles of that type, mm -hmm. which I do. Wow. So <laughs> I will be able to score this. However, this also requires me to discard those three gems. So some of the posters and tent, uh, tent tokens are going to be a little bit more expensive because they give you more benefits. In return, I would get 12 points for this poster as well as two coins. And I would uh, gain five points for the tent token that's below it. But if you'll notice, the tent token also requires me to discard a gem. So in short, in order for me to perform both of these posters, I would need to discard my two orange gems, a green and a purple. Mm -hmm. But it would get me 17 points, which right. is quite a bit. And after you perform, these posters will go face down uh, in your own supply. And at that point, you would be allowed to rearrange any of the posters on your board. This is important because the other poster that I have here does not have a tent tile below it. So maybe I might want to move it to an area that does. And that is essentially how the performance action works. If I were to do it again in the same round, then I do have a second hat here to select one of the spots. Mm -hmm. But just so you know, only one person can be on one spot. This track is also important because it will determine the uh, start player for the next round, as well as the order that we draft our new master cards and trainer tiles. And speaking of trainer tiles, since we're done talking about the actions, um, we each have a one trainer tile that we've drafted during setup. And this is going to allow us to do uh, certain things that'll help us with our actions. Sure. But they require the use of these uh, trainer tokens. Now, we only start with one of them at the start of the game, but we will have the opportunity to acquire more of them. And each tile tells you how many of these tokens you need to place in order to activate them. We also have these common ones printed on the board, and so you can take those as well. And they each pertain to a specific action. So for example, anytime you see the green uh, trainer tiles, these are going to correspond with the, uh, the build action. Mm -hmm. So for mine, I have to place two of these uh, trainer tokens on it in order to gain the bonus of one of my tile placements twice. We're gonna be going over these trainer tiles as we play the game. But at the end of your turn, you always place the tokens that you used uh, into the main camp area, tent area, so that you can use that tile again. Mm -hmm. Now, once all players have taken all four of their actions, then we go to the end of the round where we do some end of round steps. The first thing is you have to pay money for the highest sum of one colored die. And so in this example, I would have to pay six money because uh, orange has a higher sum than purple. Mm -hmm. And you also have to pay for all of the clear dice that you take. So I would, have to, I would have to pay a total of 10 money, which is a lot. Yeah, the six plus four. Yes. And you only have five bucks. Yeah, so that's a problem. Any coins that you cannot pay, you will lose points depending on what round you're in. And that's going to be per coin that you couldn't pay. So if you were in the first round, I would lose five points mm -hmm. and you can go into the negatives. Then starting with a player whose hat marker is uh, further up on the performance track, each player gets to draft a new master card uh, along with a new trainer tile that's, that's kind of a pair. And the order is very important because after you draft your pair, uh, we're going to choose one master card from the five that we'll have at that point to score. This one seems to be a perfect one for you. Mm. You get four points for every uh, type of these type of big buildings you have. So in your case, you have one green showing and two purples. So you'd get a total of 12 points if you wanted to score this. Mm. And there is a maximum amount of points. They always have a maximum at the bottom. Yes. Yep. And to be clear, you can score the one that you just drafted. But once it scores, it goes out. So going into the next round, you will still only have four. 
Then you do a bit of cleanup. All of these hats just move down, respecting their relative turn order. Yep. Because whoever is now on that number one space gets to start, gets to be the start player in the next round. Yep. And at the end of three rounds, you have a little bit of endgame scoring. Basically, any of your master cards that are still left over, you get to score half the points rounded down. Mm -hmm. You also get one point for every five coins you have left. And of course, the four points for each of these squares that are completely filled. And at the end of the game, you can use any of your leftover gems to fill in those one spots because gaps. these are not worth anything. And at that point, whoever has the most points is the best ringleader <laughs> of all the land. Ringmaster. Right, Naveen? Ringmaster. And that's essentially it. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to go ahead and get cleaned up and we'll get started with our playthrough. Okay, we are ready to go. We have shuffled some of the cards. Uh, we have also determined who is first player already because there was some setup in drafting. Uh, Monique is going to be the first player. Yes. So she actually starts with one less coin, and I actually get that coin. From I have her. to give it to him. Yeah. So I start <laughs> with seven. She's going to start with five. Yes. To be clear, it's whoever is going first gives one coin to the last player. So if yeah. you're playing in higher player count, it's going to be somebody else. Mm -hmm. And so if you're familiar with this game, we are playing with the A sides of the player boards, which means we have predetermined uh, starting master cards. I am playing with Roman numeral four. Okay. And so uh, my master cards are these four. They will allow me to gain one coin as a bonus. And then this one scores three points per trainer token that I have in my possession, I guess, at that time. Sure. This one, I believe, lets me reroll. No, sorry, it lets you set the die. Mm -hmm. So when I draft a die, I can set it to whatever value I want. And it doesn't matter what color it is. The uh, scoring criteria says I get six points for each filled column in my camp, which is kind of hard. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, this one allows me to gain plus two power to an orange drafted die. And I'll get one point for each um, square that's in my largest continuous rectangle or square on my camp board of the orange color. And the last one gives me plus one power to the die that I drafted that turn. And it doesn't matter what color it is. The scoring uh, criteria actually gives me points equal to whichever space I went on on the performance tracks. So that's nice. actually quite nice. So if you were here and you wanted to score it because you're on number 10, you'd get 10 points. I think so. Yep. Yeah, because it maxes out at 20, which a majority of these cards do. I also start with a trainer tile that I drafted. And this allows me to take the bonus a second time for when I cover something in my camp. Mm -hmm. It does require me to, to put two trainer tokens on it, though. And we only start with one. Right. And uh, my starting poster wants me to have a large purple tile in my camp. Which so. is incongruent to what this wants you to score. Yes, right. That's good. Okay, I'm going to be playing as the number one Roman numeral, mm -hmm. and so I have the matching set to go along with it. Uh, most of the bonuses, these three, are the exact same that we saw in Monique's card. The only difference is this one here. I can turn in uh, gems for uh, two bucks, which seems pretty good for me. Two coins. Two coins. Now let's go over some of these end game or end of round scoring. So this one right here says I can, after I pay my fees for mm -hmm. dice, I can turn in a coin for three points up to 21 points value. So I can do that seven times. Mm. Uh, the next one here is for every large building I have built out mm -hmm. into my uh, camp area, I get uh, four points each up to 20 points. Mm. This one is after paying the fees uh, for the highest value dice plus any clear, I'm yeah. going to score that many points. Nice. And then this one is kind of opposite to what Monique has, which is the largest column. I have to fill out an entire row. I can do this three times for a total of 21 points because each row would be seven points. Oh, that's harder. Uh, yeah. My trainer tile affects the building action. So anytime I take the building action and if I have two of my trainer tokens, yeah. I can deploy this <laughs> and basically build an extra large uh, building. Which, that's nice. Which is pretty good. Yeah. So I'm planning on using that. Hopefully I can use it multiple times. Wow. I'm liking your starting setup. Thanks. And the poster I have here, I am the Mag Magnificent Suhail, mm. which is very appropriate. Uh, we have an orange um, small building requirement in order to perform it. Very good. All right, so we are ready to begin, starting with me in round one. I'm going to go ahead and re-roll all of these dice. Let's see what we got. Uh, the number of dice that you play with, by the way, is dependent on uh, player number. Yep. So this is for a two-player game. Here we go. All right. All right. Solid. Ah, solid, yeah. Let's sort these by type, yeah? Um, okay. All right, here we go. And I know that everything is sort of dark. This is a very dark themed aesthetic uh, mm -hmm. for a board game. So uh, we'll be calling out all the numbers and everything that we do. Well, I have to be really cautious um, because I only have five coins. So I can't just, you know, willy nilly take whatever you can't dice. Take the highest value. It's going to be very expensive at the end of the round. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm going to start by taking a purple six. <laughs> willy nilly. <laughs> no, 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 hold oh, okay. on. Okay. I'm going to activate this master card, which lets me. Uh, change it to any value I want. Uh, so I'm going to change it to a four. Okay. Um, and then I think I'm going to take the travel action. So I'll I'm going to move the wagon 
one, two, three, four spaces. And then along the way, I passed a purple and an orange gem, mm -hmm. which I now get to collect. And by the way, we didn't mention this in the teach, but the game comes with this tray that stores all of the tiles and all of the everything, <laughs> basically all the resources. So purple and so. orange gem for you? Yeah, orange. And you do not want to modify this movement, right? Nope. Perfect. Because I want this. Yep. I get a tent. It's a tent, yes, right? Yes, tent. And um, I just complained about not having, well, I'm going to do this, actually. I was thinking about taking that because it gets me two coins, but I think I'll go here because it gets me another trainer. It does. A uh, token. Tent. And I only have one, so I wouldn't be able to do that. Yep. So I'll go there. It'll get me this. Um, all of these 10 spaces also give you a poster. So I can take one from either the top of the deck or one of the ones face up. And I guess I'll just take this one. This is the Magnificent Larissa. By the way, this is the Magnificent Lung... Lungili? I don't actually know how to pronounce that name. <laughs> I think the font is messing with you. I apologize. Yeah, I think yeah. so. So I'm going to go ahead and place uh, the poster <laughs> here. And posters get automatically refilled. There we go. So... There we go. That's me. All right. Okay, I think I'm going to take the green dice. Okay. And with the green dice, I'm going to place it on this one here, which okay, makes it's a green this... green four. Green four, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and make this four a plus one. Now, I don't have to manipulate the dice because I don't have to pay for that plus one. I just get the benefit of modifying it. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is going to be four plus one is five. And I'm going to also travel. So I'd like to go one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so wait, wait, let's keep track of... I always get this confused. So you started here? Correct. So you get a green, purple, green. Correct. Okay, there you go. Okay, perfect. And then you got to collect that tent the tile, tent right? as well, yeah. So now I'm also in this decision-making process. I really want this two bucks yeah. because I know I'm going to have to pay for things. Mm -hmm. But I also love my thing that uh, kind of I have over here, this, this um, trainer bonus. Mm -hmm. But I think I'm going to take the money. Okay. I think I have to take the money. Okay. I'm, I'm worried about running out of money. There you go. So you get a poster as well. I do. Okay, I think I'm going to take this one at the far end over here, the Magnificent Kimura. Okay. So I'm going to place them into this slot because I would like to perform it at some future date. Very good. There you go. We have the Magnificent Alberic. Alberic. All right, back to me. I'm going to draft this one purple mm. die. And I was thinking about placing it here, but I think I'm going to have to spend some crystals. So I might as well not waste that. Okay. Uh, plus one boost, and I'll go here. That gets me one coin. It's a coin. Which is truly needed. Um, what are and you doing with one? Huh? What are you going to do with one? Well, I have five. Oh, now, five. Because That's you always right. take the cumulative uh, strength of all of the That's same dice right. in your color, regardless of when you drafted it your turn. Oh, shoot. So this is a five, and I'm going to build nice. with my action. Now, a five, according to this chart, gets me one large tile of the purple color. Okay. But I think I'm going to actually spend both of these. To make and it a each nine. time you spend a crystal, it's plus two to your power. So this is going to turn it into a nine. Which gets me one big and one small, which I need to fulfill both of these posters. Yep. So the small tile looks like this. It's like a Tetris L, and the large tile looks like that. And again, she's getting both purple yes. because it's a purple dice. Because it's purple dice that I drafted. When you take two tiles, you have to place them one at a time and gain your bonuses one at a time. So the thing, the first thing I'm going to place is this, and I think I'm going to activate my trainer tile. Ah. My trainer tile is green because it goes along with the build action, so it requires me to place both of my trainer tokens on it. Yep. Um, and it'll basically allow me to take the benefit of whatever I cover up again. So I'm going to go up here. Uh, so it's going to get me six coins. Three times two. Yeah, three times double. two and two Ooh, clear crystals. What a placement. Is nice. So two clear, that. which are wild crystals. Yeah, six coins. There we go. All right, and then now I have to place this other one. Now that I've placed a tile onto okay. my camp, it has to be orthogonally adjacent. And this is honestly the part <laughs> that I struggle with. But I'm going to go like this, I guess. It really just depends on what you want. Would you cover up? I'm just going to cover up more money. It's just two more coins. Okay. So I'll go like that. Because I'm trying to fill in the, the whole square. Sure. Because, of course, at the end of the game, each square that's completely filled will get you four points. But now I have a lot of money. That's that's it. Okay. At the end of your turn, the trainers go uh, next to the main tent so that you can use this again. And then they'll come back to you at the end of the round. So... All right, back to you. Very good. And by the way, this trainer tile only allowed me to take the bonus twice of one of the camp tiles that I played that turn. Mm -hmm. So that's why it was with the first one. Right. All right, back to me. My next action, I am going to take another green die. So let's go ahead and take this three, and I'm going to put it on this one here. Okay. And I'm going to turn it into a two. All right. And what that's going to allow me to go is travel one, two. Okay. So I'm going to take this 
tile. This yep. tent is very really nice and because you get, an you get an orange. We're yep. passing that. This tile is really nice. It's whenever I uh, perform at this particular tent, yeah. I'm going to score seven points, but I do have to spend a clear crystal gem. So I mm -hmm. need to make sure I have a way to, to maintain getting those. Okay. So I'm going to put that down. I am jealous of you having your trainer tile. I'm going to go ahead and put that down there, acquiring the second trainer token. Okay. And then um, I get to get a new poster. Yeah, what would you like? And you know what? I'm going to grab this Kimura second one. Okay. It's going to have a little bit of uh, points, a little bit of money, mm -hmm. and a little bit of everything. So okay. there we go. Nice. Uh, I'm going to put that one into the spot here, knowing that I have a tent to go along with it. Very good. Just move my things. And when bit. you're kind of making the decision to as to which poster to grab, you're considering uh, what upcoming master cards there are, as well as their bonuses. None mm. of our master cards are scoring for particular posters. No. But say for example, this one. This is going to get you uh, four points for each different person, I suppose, who's on a poster. Not the case for me. So I have two of the same person. Yeah. So then that might be something I want to consider taking because. I have different people. Mm -hmm. So anyway, are you done? That's me. All right. So then it goes to me, and I think I'm going to take this last uh, green die. It's a value four, and I'm going to place it here. So this gets me plus one, which means this is a five, which I'm going to use to take the build action. And a five value gets me a large uh, camp tile. So the large green looks like this, and that might look familiar because it's on my <laughs> poster here. Yeah. Gosh, I'm not very good at... This part, I think I mentioned that just a turn ago, but I think I'm going to place it here. Okay. Because it fits in, even though it's <laughs> I'm just kind of skirting around that one bonus. That's fine. You I covered up in. two coins, so I gain two coins for that. You're a master of money. Yeah. Look at you. That's it. I'm going to draft the red or orange uh, five. Okay. Uh, let me move this down to where it belongs, and then I'm going to place it here. Okay. And I'm going to be taking the uh, construct building action, so... Uh, it's going to be five, so I get this benefit of one coin. I might as well go. take it now before I forget about it. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, I am going to make this into a nine by spending both of my orange. Wow, expensive. Well, that's the only way I can get access to the uh, big and small orange. Okay. Plus, I have this benefit here. So now that I have two trainers, two trainers go on top there. Oh. So I actually get uh, a second big orange. Wow, you're building all three of these. I'm building all three of those, yeah. Wild times. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, in your money camp. is very important for me right now. Okay. Uh, the first one I'm going to place down is going to be across this way, covering okay. up a white gem. May I please have a white gem? Sure. And then the next tile I'm going to place is, thank you, uh -huh. is going to be covering up this spot. This spot allows me to gain another poster uh -huh. as well as score, uh, get three bucks. Okay. So let's get some money there. And with this last one here, it's going to fit in perfectly to block out that two. So I just need five, five. Uh, coins. Yeah, total. Okay, you covered a three? I covered a three and a two. Okay, there you yeah. go. Fiver. Very good. So because every single poster has to, when you go to perform, mm -hmm. has to have its own unique building, mm -hmm. Uh, I don't want to have too many of the same type because that forces me to have to take the same type of action. Mm. So I think I'm going to take Larissa over here. This one, I do not have any other thing that requires a big green. Mm -hmm. uh, and then these smaller um, oranges should be not as hard to get. So okay. I'll take that. I'm just going to place it out over here. Um, and I'm not exactly sure which uh, camp is going to go there or tent is going to go there. Okay. And to finish off my turn, I send out my trainer tokens to the center. All right. And also, just because I know uh, one of us are going to forget this, there are these <laughs> that you can use. Mm -hmm. For example, this trainer allows you to, I believe that that's, allows you to rearrange your, your posters. Yep. For spaces such as these two, you can actually place more than one uh, trainer token on them, mm -hmm. and it'll activate for each one that you place there. Sure. So for this, when you take the build action, for each trainer you place there, you can actually change the color of the camp tile you place. Right, so if I take an orange dice, I can say, actually, one of the buildings I'm yes. building is a green. Exactly. And these ones are pretty self-explanatory. This one lets you go counterclockwise. This one you can pay two coins to gain a poster. And this lets you flip the die that you draft to the opposite side. Mm -hmm. All right, for my final action, I'm being, I'm trying to be very cognizant of how much I'm going to have to pay. And I told myself at the beginning of the round that I didn't want to go more than five coins. But? So, no, oh, no, okay. that, that's, that's it. Wow. <laughs> so I'm going to take the five and place it there. That'll give me a strength of seven, which you know what? I actually don't need to, to take. I'm going to take this one okay. to give me a, a power of six because I know that I'm going to spend a, a crystal, an orange crystal anyway. Okay. Bring that up to an eight. So I'm going to perform. The first time you do this, you mm. take the hat that's on the track and place it uh, to the number of your, your strength. And for me, it's going to be an eight, which lets me perform two posters. 
And so I only have two posters. They both have tents below them, and I believe I have met both of their criteria. Um, this poster wants me to have the large purple tile, which I have right there. And then the second poster wants me to have the small purple and large green, and so I have those as well. Uh, in addition, I believe one of these, this one, uh, the tent tile needs me to discard an orange crystal. So Off I'm going to do that now. And I think now I've paid all of the costs. So let's just reap the benefits, shall we? Yeah. This is going to be a total of five coins because it's three plus two. And I believe that's it for coins. So yeah, the other that. two are points. So here's my five coins. And then uh, these two are going to be a total of five plus five, ten points total. Off you go. So I'm Look now there. These two are going to get discarded. At this point, if I had more posters, I could rearrange them, but I don't. I'm, an, I'm a clean slate. Mm -hmm. And that's it. It's my last action. Ooh. Well, uh, I would like to perform because it's going to get me both points and money. Okay. And it would allow Larissa to slip in and fill in the blank there. So I think I am going to perform. Uh, I will take... And keep in mind, the color doesn't matter. So you're just looking at how many That's do you right. want to perform? Well, knowing that I'm on the hook for six here, the, mm -hmm. quest the question is, what am I going to score at the end here? I don't like this one very much. Mm -hmm. I only I only have two big tiles. That'll score eight. Well, keep I'm in mind, you can also score whatever you end up taking, whichever MasterCard you end up drafting before the end of the round. I'm looking at those also, and I'm, I'm thinking those are going to be a problem as yeah, well. Yeah, the first round is the worst round to score MasterCards because you're the least built you know? Yeah. So you just just look at one that you probably are least likely to continue pursuing. I guess the right? reason I'm asking is because this one has a clear die. Um, mm -hmm. It has a clear die uh, criteria on it. Right. So do I draft one of the clear so that I make it six plus seven, eight, nine points? Mm. I think I'm going to go with the purple die. So we're going to take the six, place it over here. And I'm not going to be taking this action here, which is uh, sell my gems for two coins. Okay. So uh, I'm going to perform with yeah. that six, and I'm going to go up to this slot there. Okay. I'd like to not allow a gap between us, because then Monique will burn one of the cards behind. Right. So I'd like to have choice of two. Uh, so let's go ahead and perform. And the only one I could really perform is my Suhail. Suhail yes. requires me to have a small orange building. Mm -hmm. I do have one over here. Mm -hmm. So I'm performing that one. I'm going to get uh, two points for that. And then the tent that is associated with it gets me two coins. Very so I'll good. just go ahead and flip that over. And um, because this is probably really tiny, the mm -hmm. spot that Naveen chose only allowed you to perform one poster, one, even exactly. though he has several. I have several, but I can't. I honestly can't even do them because some of these require greens and purples, and right. I'm all orange right now. So this is done. That is finished. What, what is the total reward? Uh, two points and two coins. Two coins. So not okay. as glorious as the ten you got. <laughs> But well, I don't have any more posters, so... That's true. Here's your I two do coins. have posters. And now I can rearrange, and I think I would like Miss Larissa yeah. to hang out over here. Very good. There we go. All right, so now we can perform all three of these if need be. All right, and so now that we have both taken all four of our turns, that is the end of the round. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go into some end of round steps, which includes us having to pay... <laughs> Fees. Yes. At this point, you calculate the sum of all three colors of your dice. So it looks like I have five for purple, four for orange, and four for green. I don't have any crystal dice or clear dice, mm -hmm. which means I have to pay a total of five coins. That's your highest so one. That's my highest, yeah. Yeah, so I have a tie here. I have one six purple, I have uh, four plus two green, mm -hmm. and then one five, so I have to pay six total. I mean, it's pretty good because yeah. you were able to maximize two colors, right? Yep. And of course, for each coin either of us wasn't able to pay, we would have had to lose one point because we're in the first round. Mm -hmm. It is the cheapest exchange, but fortunately... We're both trying to we, not let that yeah. happen. Yeah. <laughs> so now, starting with me, because I am higher on the performance track, we get to draft a pair of MasterCard and Trainer Tile. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm going to draft these, this pair, because this Trainer Tile is uh, corresponding to the performance action. And when you take a performance action, you can basically get plus two power on the strength of your die. Gotcha. So I'll take that. That's not bad. Yep. And then the MasterCard will get me four points per uh, different names on completed posters. So I don't want to have this burden sort of <laughs> lingering on like having to take different posters. So I'm going to get this and probably just score it now. That's on the completed posters. Completed posters, which the two that I have are completed. Are unique. Okay. Yeah. So, all right. And you? I think I know I'm going to be getting a lot of big tiles mm -hmm. and this one allows me to score big tiles. The only question I have is, will I really use this one? So this one we said, uh, every time you score a performance, you get an extra point. Yeah. Per, per poster. Poster. Mm -hmm. So I think I will take this pair. So this one allows me to get four points for every uh, large building type. So mm -hmm. I'm going to take these two. 
and then just place this. So you one went with it over anyway. Here. I went with it anyway, yeah. <laughs> okay. And lastly, we're supposed to wipe anything that remains, so these are going to go off. Right, that's in a two player game only. Now we each get to score a MasterCard, mm -hmm. uh, and you can choose the one that you just drafted, which I am actually going to do. Okay. So this MasterCard says four points for each uh, poster that I have already scored of different names. So these are yeah, different Larissa names. Larissa and somebody else. Yes, and the one <laughs> the name that the I one, Oh, pronounce. sorry, don't make me put you under the sorry. gun. Yeah. <laughs> so it's eight points. Eight points. So uh, you're at 18. Yes. This card gets discarded now, so it doesn't actually... Right. And that means you don't say. get the benefit of the action that's the depicted bonus. at the top. Yes, which would have been uh, a poster. A poster, but which you are short on. Yeah, I don't know. Should I have done it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> now I'm wondering. Um, I'm just going to go with it. Okay. I already did it. All right, perfect. So uh, the one I'm going to do is surprisingly... I didn't think I was going to do this one. Mm -hmm. It's the one that cost me a bunch of money. So oh. I'm going to do this one. This one says uh, I can turn in one buck for three points up to seven times for 21 points total. Oh. I'm a little scared as to how much to turn in. So I'm going to turn in six oh, to give wow. it me 18. <gasps> I see we both have 18 points now. Wow. I'm going to do it. So this action has gone. I didn't even use it in the last round. So I'm going to go ahead and put that over there. You should have just gone the full 21. Yeah, let's go the full 21. Yeah, You're you right. can always make money. Seeing here. as this action brings me that one coin back, <laughs> yeah. let's just do it. Just do it. You're right. This is out. Yeah. 21 points to me. Wow, lucrative. Lucrative. That's so you're now at 23? 23. Oh. I must keep it going. And nice. I have performers ready to go. Oh my gosh, that was a good one. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't, I, well, now I have four bucks. I'm a little nervous about that. But. Yeah, you do have four bucks, Naveen. Yeah. <laughs> and that's it. So let's go ahead and prepare for the next round. Right. So we get our trainer uh, tokens back. Yep. Um, yes, we have three new MasterCards and trainer tiles. And all of the hat figures move down, respecting their relative order, because now, now Naveen's hat is on the number one, which means he is going to go first oh, yeah. uh, in the next round. That is right. Which means you also get to roll all the dice. Okay. Starting or going into the second round. Sure. There you go. Ah. All right. Ooh, low <laughs> purples coming in. All right, ready for round two, starting with me. You ready? Yes. Okay, so I've identified a dice that I really like. A die. A die. <laughs> a singular. I always get those mixed up. I'll take the five green, oh, okay. and I think I'm going to do a build action with it. And I'm just going to take one coin. All right. Sorry, we have Dexter who has uh, something little, to say today. Little rumbly. Yeah. So I'm going to modify this five to a seven with okay. one of my green gems. Yep. And then I'm going to use my two trainers oh my gosh. to plop it on down right here onto the build action, okay. which is going to get me another big one. So because it's green, yes. I'm going to get one big green yeah. plus uh, the seven gives me two small greens. Okay. So two small, and the small is a square. Correct. So two squares and one of these staircase right. shapes. That's now, a lot. You well, are placing. If you notice, Larissa requires me to have this, yeah. plus I already previously built that. Kimura requires me to have this, and uh, uh, the other Kimura mm -hmm. also requires me to have this plus a purple, so i got to figure out a way to do that. Okay. So with the big one, I'm going to put this green right in here. It's going to cover up two different benefits. One is a clear gem, mm -hmm. and I'm going to also be able to take a card of my choice. Here's your gem. Thank you. So let's go ahead and get myself a poster. I'd like to grab Larissa over here. Okay. This one's going to cost some gems, though, when I try to score it. Yeah. So I better have those orange. gems when I have it. So I'm going to place that there. Okay, uh, the next one, I am going to definitely want some money because I'm a little nervous about what I've done. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just plop this square into this right there. So can I have two coins, please? Mm -hmm. There you go. Thank you. And then the next one, I'm just going to plop it into this slot here, covering up this. Ooh. What? Actually, I, I think I want another one of these, so just in case if I can do that. I'm going to plop this over here in the top corner. That's going to get me another trainer token. Okay. Because, again, I have to maintain some sort of orthogonal direction, so I'll just plop that in right there, and I'll take another one for me. Nice. There we go. Not the ideal kind of layout when I first started playing the game, thinking yeah. this is what it's going to look like, but right. this is what I have. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. All right, so then back to me. I'm going to draft a, a four-valued green die, mm -hmm. and I'm going to plop it right there. So it's going to be a strength of five instead. Okay. And with that, I'm going to take the build action. So five gets me a large, so I'm basically going to get another one of these. Okay. The staircase thing. What are you doing? And I am also going to place my trainer uh, tokens on here to be able to reap the benefits twice again. Double up on something? And I think I'm going to go like this. Are you so getting a can, double trainer title? I get double trainer token and double poster. Oh, perfect for you. Yay. <laughs> 
The trainer tokens are nice. That's interesting because you have now two big greens. Yeah. None of the four showing have any big greens on it. Oh, are you going to top deck it? I might. I will top deck the first one. Yeah, sure. Let's see what I get. Big green. Big oh, green. You have oh, it. you have gosh, it. Oh, gosh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. It does right. require some gems, it though. It does. This? Oh, it does. Yeah. It needs a, a purple, green, and an orange gem. Whoa. Because of this, big actually. Gun. Yeah. So do I put it there? That's the question. Maybe I don't, because that's going to be expensive. It is. I'll just do that. Okay. And I get another one. I guess now I don't really care if... I'm just going to top deck it again. Yeah. <laughs> just see. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> no, what I need another shuffle. one of those. Yeah. I, I am missing one of these to be able to score both, but I'll yikes, place it here. Yikes, yikes, yikes. So that's the Larissa. It's the Larissa poster. So I guess, it wants really the exact like... same things yeah, as that. It does. Okay. But without the, the gem discard. Mm -hmm. So that's it for my turn. So these Pretty go good. back. Pretty good top decking. Back to you. Thank you. Yeah. I am going to take this purple three die. Okay. And then I'm just going to place it out onto here to get one coin. And I'm going to use it to build again. There you go. Okay. Share one. And a three, according to the chart, just gets you one small of the color that I'm using. Yeah. I'm going to get purple, please. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the, pur the small purple is the L. Mm -hmm. There you go. Thank you. And then now, seeing as I want to fill in these boxes over here, mm -hmm. I'm just going to plop it down like this. So I can leave another potential L shape here for when I finally get these posters off of me. So um, that is a future me issue, and I will deal with that then. That's, okay. That's my turn. Real All simple. right. Well, I already know that I need another one of these tiles. Okay. So I'm going to draft. I'll draft the purple. Ah, gosh, this is tough. <laughs> can you, you can set your die. I can. That's what I'm going to have to do. But I'm kind of trying to think about what you would want in terms of purple. Well, and I, can, how I much can set my die and I can plus one. You. All so, right. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll take the two. So I'm going to switch this to a five because of this bonus here. Okay. And with the five, I'm going to build. The five gets me a large purple, which is exactly what I need. And since I have these two trainer uh, tokens, I might as well use this again okay. to be able to gain the bonus twice. Wow. Which I'm thinking, honestly, is going to be another two of my trainer <laughs> tiles. Because I have this scoring criteria that gets me three points per yeah, trainer. No, that's, trainer yeah, trial, so. yeah, that's good. I'll do that. Dang. And um, mm, that's good. I just wonder if I could have placed it in a different way to be able to get more than that. I'm being greedy. <laughs> yeah, don't be greedy. Definitely you, being greedy you, now. Oh, I can. <gasps> I can. I can do this. Oh, so you get more white. It just makes it, though, so that this is pretty difficult to complete. And you are out of uh, white crystals. So you, you would get uh, coins, though, for every crystal in abundance yeah. that you can't house. So I'm you'd just going to do this. Let's just keep it simple. Okay. I'll take the two. The two trainers. And don't forget, you do want to fill out columns at I know. some point. That's something to think about. Maybe. I'm not doing that. I, I mean, should have taken... I sh it would have been nice if I had yours. I really like this bonus ability. So I might just use this for, yeah. for the rest of the game. And then at the very end of the game, I'll score half Maybe those score points that. rounded down, That's which right. might not be anything. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, that is it for my turn. It goes back to you. Mm. All right, next action I'm going to take, I'm going to draft this five orange, Ooh. and I'm going to travel with it. Let's go ahead and place it here to make it a six. Okay. And we're going to travel. So I start on this one. So it's mm -hmm. going to be one, two, three, four, five with the plus one six right so there. two orange, a green, and a purple. Perfect, yep. And then I take this tent tile. Oh, purple, that is a lot. It's a lot of crystals a for lot you. Lots of crystals. And you can house them all. Uh, two orange, green, and purple, yep. Look yeah. at that. I'm just going. Oh, and you're full. I'm almost, and I'm too full because I'm going to do this right here. I'm going to plop this down there. You sure you want to do that? Well. Oh, it's your fourth. It's Oh, no, you have another spot. I do have another points. spot. I don't want to overshoot here. Because only one coin for you're each. You're right. I'm just going to go ahead and collect four points, and I'll plop this down there. Okay. So then I also am going to be able to get another poster. So I'll take four points right now. Yeah. So 23 to 27. Nice. And let's grab myself a poster. Knowing that some of these are going to clear off, yeah. I already have the oh. infrastructure for other ones. i got to figure out which one to use. You have a lot of posters. Points is the name of the game, so I'm going to take this one. This one is going to cost me uh, a purple gem whenever I do finally try to score it. Yeah. Uh, it's going to get me six points, uh, though, uh, at the end of scoring it. So I think I'm going to take that okay. and just plop that down. I cannot speak today, so I'm just going <laughs> to so put one this. One of those days. One of those days. I'm going to put that there, and that is me. All right, back to me. I think I'm going to take my first clear die. So okay. I was debating Ooh. taking the green three, mm -hmm. but... It's not really going to land me on a tent tile, and I really want a tent tile to travel. Oh, I see. And it's going to be an additional three coins, so I might as well just make it one one more coin. Okay. Right? So I'm going to go there, and it'll get me a coin anyway. So there's that. 
And uh, in taking the clear die, you basically choose a color and you calculate the strength based off of that, uh, the overall color. So right now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to choose green. And so these together is five green, which I'm going to use to travel. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. So two green gems, one purple. Two green, one purple. And I'm going to go ahead and take this, and I'll take the four points. So yeah. do you mind getting me four points, Four please? points, so, so 18 to 22. Here's two green and one purple. Nice. And I also get to take a poster. Yes. What would you like? I think I'll take a Kimura. Mm. Kimura. And I will place this poster here. Yeah, where it can score. Where it can score. Yeah. Eventually. Which is not now. So, ah. <laughs> all right, that is me. It's another Sahel. Okay. Back to you. Well, I'm glad you didn't take the three. So uh, I'll take it. A three green. Three green, and uh, then I'm gonna manipulate it. So I think I can do three of these. So what do I need? So it's a three. What do I need to get to? Twelve. I need to get to. So I have five, six, seven, eight. This one allows me to set the die. So I'm gonna set it to a five. So that okay. means I'm on the hook for ten bucks at the end. That's not good. Uh, so I'm going to set it to five, and then I'm going to spend one green crystal to make it a total of 12. So 5, 10, 11, 12 from the crystal. Then I'm going to move myself up to here, which says I can uh, perform three different tent and poster combinations. Yeah, right that's now. nice. So let's Three go posters. ahead and do it right now. Uh, and then I'm also in the process of this before I forget. Yeah. I will be doing this right here, which allows me to score a point for every poster I So it's going to uh, be an perform. additional three points. An additional three points. Okay. All right. Well, we have Larissa here. This mm -hmm. one is big green yeah. and small orange. Okay. Okay. So these two right there. So that's going to get me uh, three points. Well, let's see. Why don't you just do all of the costs first? Okay, sure. Just so, to make sure you have all individual tiles. Sure. So there's that one. Yeah. Then I have this one, which is big green. I'm sorry, big orange, small green. Okay. I have that. And there's yeah. no uh, anything else associated with that. Yeah. And then this one, uh, big orange, small uh, purple, and uh -huh. then the other small green. The other. So these two. Okay. Yeah. Everything so it looks is like there. everything is there. Yeah. And I don't think there's any gems except for this one right so here. So that needs a clear gem so spent. A clear gem. There okay. It goes. Off Very it goes. good. What are your benefits? Okay, so let's do all the points first. Yeah. So we have three, six, nine, uh, plus another 12. Whoa, 21? 21. Oh my goodness. So you're at 27, so 48. 48 is that right? 48, I think. 21? Yeah. Plus 27? Basic math. 48. Can't talk, can't, can't add. <laughs> ah. There we go. All right, now let's go ahead and collect our coins. Yep. Uh, so we have two, four, six, uh -huh. seven, eight. Nice. And go ahead and flip over those uh, posters. Uh, yes, I will. Those are scored. This one's out. This one's out. And so is this one. And then now I can rearrange these accordingly. Yes. I mustn't, Monique, you mustn't. I mustn't forget my three points. Do not. Do not for forget. doing this Let's with do the it trainer. Now. Yeah. One, two, three. You're at 51. 51. Not good. I must keep it going. <laughs> I'm at 22. <laughs> so this is a large spread, Naveen. Freely, I can move these around now. I really like scoring seven points. I think that feels really good. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to do that there. And then this one, I'm going to put it where the uh, the three points are, because that also feels pretty good. Nice. Go. Okay. All That's right. Me. Not as... Juicy. Not as juicy of a turn coming up here, but congratulations on Thanks. that one, Naveen. That Thank was you. nice. Thank you. I might as well still try to score. Oh, yeah. So, oh, no, you're going to discard. No, you're going to do the thing. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eye everything that is possible for you and make sure I discard. That was mean. <laughs> 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 that was the meanest thing Off I've heard you say in a while. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to be a little bit wasteful just because I don't want... Um I don't want Naveen to discard the one that I want, so <laughs> okay. I'm going to take this four orange, place Which it makes there. makes it a six. Makes it a six. I'm going to place my one trainer token on this spot, which when taking the performance action boosts that by two. Mm -hmm. So this is an eight, and then I'm going to have to discard a crystal, a clear crystal, since it's orange, to make, to make that 10. into a 10. Okay, so Just that you can so, move here. Yeah, that rule is good in a two-player yeah. game, the whole separation, Keeping you getting to discard a, a pairing, because yeah. it instills fear. And <laughs> it forces you to waste a crystal. Yeah. That's great. So anyway, the 10 will allow me to uh, perform two different posters. Okay. So I only have enough for these two anyway. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be... This the big purple. the big big purple big green yep. and then another big purple and big green. So, so you have some separate. cost. Yeah, I do have some cost. I have to discard a purple, green, and an orange crystal. So it's gonna be purple, green, and clear. Wild as to represent the, the orange. Right. And remember, at the end of the game, crystals can fill in the gaps on your player board. Yes, I know, and <laughs> I'm looking real sparse. <laughs> so uh, let's take the points first, I guess. This is six, 
plus five plus six. Yeah. So that's 17? 17, yeah. Okay, so 17 so plus 22, 22 so, is that 39? Uh, 39, yeah. There you go. Uh, not good. Coinage? I get some, I get six coins. Six coins. So that's something. Yeah. I have a lot of money. Money is good. What can it do for me? What can I let, how can I gain 20 points with the money that I have? Mm. That is a question. Anywho, that is it for these two posters. They have now been scored. Would you like to rearrange? Do I want to rearrange? No, I'm, I'll leave it here. Yep. Because this scores five points and I have to discard a green crystal, whereas this one requires an orange crystal yep. and I don't have that. Makes sense. So that is it. Very this good. goes to the middle. And I believe that is the end of the round yep. because we have each taken all four of our actions. Kay. So let's go ahead and pay. My values, I took all different colors. And so it looks like the highest is five, but you always have to pay the amount on your so clear uh, dice. So that's a total of six. What about you? Five and one. Uh, well, I have two five greens. And that's the highest value, so ten. I get ten. Ooh, it's expensive. So, yeah, two, five. That's two points, right? Every <laughs> did you five. know? I did. <laughs> that was expensive. That's two points I'm spending. There yeah, that is two points. It's true. Off it goes. All right, so then starting with you, Naveen, which pairing would you like? Mm, Value-wise, scoring, mm. I mean, just straight up having ten points seems pretty good. I have uh, two small greens to make it four times two is eight. This one's ten. Yeah, but this if you just get have. one more green, that's yeah. twelve. But Just I only saying. have one more performance that technically requires a small green. I don't know. Okay. It's hard to say. Sure. sure. So I'm, I'm going to take this. Plus, it has uh, two coins here, which means in the last round, yeah. I can potentially take higher value dice yeah. and pay the cost down by that particular action. It also comes with this trainer. And it also comes tile, with trainer, which, which is more money. For each token you place there, you get two coins. Yep. So this is a money-making yeah. venture so for I was you. I'm supposed to actually put this out there. And let's just plop this down onto the slot. Oh, no, what that's not doing? how it works. Oh, cards. <laughs> I can't, oh, can't cards. speak. Can't do math. You Don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. Blaming the cards. No, no, I, I'm saying me. <laughs> okay, well, I am glad that I did what I did here yeah. because if I know Naveen, he was going to leave me with this totally. pairing, this blunder of a pairing, which I wouldn't be able to score, really. I mean, so, you're what? close. Well, no, I already have that there, oh, yeah. and I'm already not scoring it. That's so um, I'm glad you didn't take this, because plus two on a green die, that's pretty good. And then this trainer um, token tile, <laughs> I get those two confused. <laughs> plus three on wagon action. Yeah, plus three on the wagon action. So that's nice. I have basically one of each type of action that's been boosted. To modify, yeah. Yeah, cool. Ah, oh, dang it. So that gets discarded. It does, yep. And then we are going to do some some scoring. Okay. So now we are going to select a MasterCard to score. My my decision making thing here is I could score this for uh, 18 points, but that'll also just be there for the next round. Or I could try to score this for 10 points since I did spend that crystal to go there. Oh, the did. question is, we are going into the final round. So am I really going to score more than two posters, I guess? You I'm not very good at that You have one on deck, you have part. two tenths, so you can get up to three. I just don't know that I'm really going to go that high, that much higher. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's Yeah. So I could still claim that last uh, trainer token, but I guess in order for me to do that, I would have to cover this spot, mm -hmm. which I don't necessarily know that I'm going to do. So let's just do this now. I'm going to score this. So this is three points for each uh, trainer token in your possession. So that's on the board and with you. And I have a total of six so six times three is 18. 18 that's a the good. maximum was 21 points. So that's pretty good. It's really good. So, oh, here, that's the, that's the points that I needed. That, that's exactly So 18, it. 17, so 57, right? Yep, that's right. All right. So now to you. All right. Go ahead and place so my dice over here. I have I, I have this 10 that I just got, but I think I can get 12. So uh, let me just clear these dice off so we can really see. Now, the one that you just got, that is not going to... That's it. It's going to be 10 points no matter what. Mm -hmm. Your other cards, you have the potential to score more. To make it better. Now, so the question is, do you have two other cards that could score you a lot of points? Because this is basically the last two times that you can score yeah. a MasterCard. So the way sense. I see it is these are both identical. Yeah. Uh, they literally are identical. So yeah. uh, this one can score me 10 now, or one of the two that I have can score me 12 now. So I'm going to take the 12 now. Okay. I'm going to score this one here because I don't really need this one when I have two coming in. I'd like to modify a die by one. Sure. So it sounds like you're never going to score this because well, why would you ever score this over another 12? Cor correct. That yeah. So that's why. So this is just passively there so I can collect two points yeah. uh, on this round. Two points. And then remember at the very, uh, two coins, yes. And remember at the very end, you score half of these. Right. So, this so will that would be, be five. five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to do this one right here. And this one basically says I get four points for every large uh, building tile I have. 
I have one, two, three large building tiles times four. That's 12 points. Okay. So this one goes down. Very good. So you 12. are going to be at 12, 60. Ooh. 63? 63. Ooh. There you it's go. Close. It is very close. Tight. And let me go ahead and just slot this in so it's nice and neat. All right. There and that go. is the end. Yeah. So uh, we get these back. Yep. So let me go ahead and give these to you. Thank you. And then we're going to slide these down. So now I am going to go first in the final round, which I guess, I don't know. I don't know if I... Yeah, you get first dibs on the dice. <laughs> yeah, that's true. What yeah. am I saying? You get first dibs. Yes, and I get to roll them. Yeah. So here I we go. I get last dibs. May I have your dice, please? Sure. There you go. We are going into round three with the final dice roll. It's a pretty quick game, it's, right? Yeah. It's only three rounds, yep. and you're drafting four each. Mm -hmm. Ready? Yes. Here we go. Okay. All right. Let me... Uh, oh, some big greens coming in. Big greens. Is that a good thing? Are you happy? Well, for you, that's great. Because wait, what were you at? Two. Oh, no, wait. That's me. Yeah, you <laughs> I think I was at 57, yeah. right? Okay. All right. So you said big greens. Yeah. And you just got the card that says plus two to greens. Oh, this is beneficial for me. I see. Well, I'm going to start by taking the uh, orange six. Nice. And I'm going to place it here, which makes this into a seven. Ooh. I'm going to discard a crystal, Eight, a nine. crystal to make it into a nine. And that's going to give me a big and a one big, one small. Which is what your poster needs. Which is the big one. The big yeah. one, yeah. The big one is what it needs. So one big, one small orange. And I think in conjunction with this action, I'm going to, to uh, take this trainer bonus, okay. which lets me, because I'm placing one of my tokens here, I can change the color of one of the tiles. Mm -hmm. So instead of getting a little orange, I'm going to take a small purple. Okay. And so that's your replacement. Yeah. So I still have to take the large orange. Which you want. Which I want. And now the small purple. Okay. So I'm going to place the small purple one first mm. and place it right in there so that it covers up the, uh, the clear, the clear. Yeah. crystal. Oh, that's good. So I get one of those. Are you going to double your bonus? Huh? Are you going to double I am, your bonus? for the second one. Ah, for the second because one. Can only, you can only do it once per turn. Okay. So that's going to be one tile, essentially, per, per turn. Okay. Because that's how I'm, I'm interpreting it anyway. Yeah. So I am going to activate this trainer tile, which lets me act, uh, take the bonus of this twice. So this is going to get me four points because it's a two-point spot. Okay. One, two, three, four. Ah, oh, close. Mm. And this is the only spot on my board that gives me two posters. Because I'm doubling it, I get four. Are you just going to clear the board? I'm just going to... No, I think I might top deck some of it. Yeah. But at least this way I don't have to worry about getting any more posters right. for the rest of the round. And we'll be set. I'm definitely going to take this one because okay. that was the whole reason why I changed the color in the first place. So that's it one wants of two, your... Two small purples. That's one of your four, right? Yes. Okay, so we instantly replace this one. Thank Look at you. that one. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> this is not... I'm going to top deck it. Okay. Um, Ooh, oh, okay. that's good. That's great. Top decking's working the, out for you. Two of the big purples. Which is exactly what you have. That right there. That's two, right? I yep. get two more to fill these Which two spots. Which you can't even score as of I right now. I can't score yet because I don't have ten uh, tiles. And now I'm now I'm kicking myself Making for not getting those earlier in the game. Yeah. I, I guess I could also perform twice. You do have two hat tokens for that. Mm -hmm. So let's just go ahead and continue top decking. Sure. I got lucky with that. Oh. All right. I, yeah. I don't have the small square. Small square. That is something that I would need in order to perform that. And let's just do it. Well, hold on. I could just take this. Oh, no, I don't have the small orange. Mm -hmm. <gasps> they all require the small orange. Let's mm. do it again. Oh, oh more of those little squares. greens. That's Definitely good. not score I would have wanted to top deck that because I have two greens. Well, so the only things I can score are actually turns. on my board already. So that is the end of my turn. It seems like a good turn. Back. Thank you. Now it goes to you. I will take the purple six, and I'm going to build... And okay. I'm going to take that purple six and make it a seven. Okay. So that means I get two small purples. All right. Are you taking them at, taking them as is? Well, so I get two small purples, and then I'm going to put this down onto this. Okay. That's, two, a, that's a big one. There. Two small and a big. I guess my question is you're not going to change any of the colors. Uh, I don't. I see what you're saying. I'll change one of the colors. Okay. So I'm going to change. Uh, so I'm going to have to spend my last person and put them there. This is small, right? Yeah. And I'm going to change it to a, uh, a orange small. An orange. All right. Yeah. There we go. There Thank you, you go. So I'm going to do a little bit of what you did. So I'm going to be able to complete this box here and nice. I get two posters. So I'm going to drop this in there. Okay. I'll take Suhail squared. Suhail so squared. Suhail. Huh? And oh, another. You don't want to see what comes I don't up? even know. Oh, I'll, another I'll take Suhail. This one, yeah. All right. Ooh, yeah. There we go. I'm it gonna is Suhail's two. time to shine. It is. Really. So these two are going to go down. I'm going to pop them into slots that I have. So let's go to go one, two. And then now with these two, I'm going to place this one like that. Oh, does that fit? 
Or Are Du Bois? Bet? No. <laughs> okay. You have a lot of gems. Let's so. just drop this one in here. So that's going to score uh, three points by me doing that. Okay. One, two, three. Very good. And then I'll drop this one in like this to score another two points. All right, one, two. Wow, well, you filled in your camp earlier. It was yeah. very snaky, and then you I'm slowly filled it in. I'm not doing the rose thing, which is what it asked for. But yeah. yeah. Well, don't think we're always going to be able to do? score yeah. our cards. I should have got that column one. Look, I have one, two, three, four columns filled. Yeah, you snoozed. Snoozed. I snoozed. Are you done? I'm done. That is it. These are going to get returned back to the main camp. There you go. Main tent. There you All go. All right. Is it back to me? You. All right. I am going to draft a six green. Okay. Place it there. So it's an eight. And I'm going to build again. An eight will get me two small green tiles, which I think I am going to use. Okay. And I need gems. I'm in desperate need of gems, actually. So did you want to double up that reward on yeah, the gems? Yeah. I guess so. I will double up this reward. Okay. So, so that's it two white. Two clear, clear crystals. Um... This is a bit unfortunate because I'm not, <laughs> I'm not closing, I'm not closing anything. So I guess I at least want to do something like this yeah. because three points. points is just one fewer than the four that I would get for completely closing a square. Mm -hmm. So I'll do that. Oh yeah, that makes sense. And that gets me three. One, two, three. Points or points. It seems still worth it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, some of these performances get you three points or less. Right. All right. That's it. That is the end of my action. Goes back to you. Okay, I think I want to perform. Okay. I think I'm going to perform, and I'm going to take this one purple. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put it here, and I'm actually going to make it to a six. So we have 12 total. So I'm going to move all the way up to the 12 spot, and I'm going to perform on three different spots. Three different posters? Yeah, so I have, unfortunately, no more uh, <laughs> little trainer tokens. Trainer tokens. That would okay. be nice, but I don't have them. So, <laughs> uh, so the only one that I'm not going to be doing is this one. So I'll just slide it down so that way we don't get confused. So okay. it's going to be these three. All right. There's a lot of fees here, uh -huh. so I'm going to go ahead and just place the gems on the fees. So this is going to require a green <laughs> and and uh, orange. Oh, those hidden fees. Yeah, a purple, and then this one's going to be an orange. Okay. And then this is going to require a gem. Wow, that was expensive. Many. This is going to get you a lot of points then, I'm assuming. Right, exactly. Okay. So let's go ahead and go one by one. Big green, big orange. Big green, big orange. Okay. Okay, uh, small purple, uh -huh. small green. Uh -huh. And then we have small orange, the other big uh, orange, yeah. and then the big purple, which I just acquired. Yeah, you got time. it. So I have all of them. Yes. So let's do the points first. Or do you, here, let me just give you the gems. Okay. So these are out of the way. Yes. We know that you have paid your I've fees. Paid my dues. And you may now reap your rewards. So what do you want to start with? Uh, let's go with points. Why okay. not? All right. So we have six plus three is nine. Mm -hmm. We have six plus uh, seven is 13. So, so what is 22? that? 22. Plus another eight is 30, 30. Plus another three. 33. 33. Naveen. The big dog. 68 to 98. Plus one, two, three. There you go. Right? 101. Yeah, 101. <laughs> 101. Oh, I left I've done me in the dust. Uh, okay. Coins now, uh, because this is going to be very expensive on me. Sure. <laughs> so it's going to be uh, just four plus another two. So that's going to be a six. 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 Six it is. Nice. Thank you. All right. Perfect. <sighs> all right. I think the writing uh, so is on the wall. These all... I need to go back to the studio and practice my performances. <laughs> These are all gonna go elsewhere. Clearly they are not good enough. <laughs> good enough. Uh, let, I, now I can freely move this. I think, I don't wanna pay the single gem here, so I'm just gonna move it into this three point slot. Oh, oh don't fall. Careful now. There we go. All okay. right, I'm gonna go ahead and draft this orange three. And I'm gonna place it there. So this is a five plus six, which is 11. And with that, I shall perform. So that'll bring my hat all the way up to the 10 because I can't go any higher than that. And that lets me perform two different posters. Okay. I think the two poster combinations that I can do are this one and this one. Okay. Well, I guess I could do these two. What's most lucrative for you? These two. Okay. Because it's two of the large purple and then a small purple and the large orange. Yeah, I can do these two. So it's the only thing is it is quite expensive in crystals. So this costs a purple crystal, and these two cost a green and an orange. Oh, boy. Well, I have them. Yeah. <laughs> Might as well do I'll it, I guess. I'll spend them. So the benefits, then, are 5, 10, 11, 12, plus 5. So 17? 17. 17. 64 to 74 to 7, 81. 81, yep. Okay, so that's that. And then I get 3, 6, 6 coins? 6 coins, yep. Okay. Five, six. Okay. And then these get discarded. Mm -hmm. And that's it. 
That's it for, oh, these two are the ones that I performed, right? I believe Oops. so, yep. So I can now rearrange some stuff. Mm -hmm. And I think the most lucrative combination are going to be these two. So I'll do... I'll do this. We have enough gems to score. I think I'll have the exact number of gems to be able to do them. To do both of because them. Because I have a I have a wild and a green and just need the green and an orange. And I was looking at my board and it's not like there's are any spots that just needed one gem. Right. You know what I mean? Okay. So yeah. Cool. That's what I, I might as well put this here. Sure. Yeah, you might as well. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, seeing as I'm on the hook for a 12, I might as well collect as many gems as physically possible. I'm gonna take the six green and I'm gonna travel with it. Okay. I'll put it on my two. So can I have two coins, please? There you go. Okay, two coins. Thank yep. you. And so you're uh, traveling? We're traveling. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to collect three green. Whoa, an orange and a purple. An orange and a purple. I'm going to overshoot on green, though, here. That's so, nice. Yeah. I should have traveled more. I did not travel enough. I think I focused way too much. You got to do a little bit of everything. Morning. You said three green. Three green. I'm going to overshoot, though. So it's really going to be one coin. One. Okay, so two yeah. green. What else? Two green, a coin for the third green, uh, an orange and a purple. All right. There you All go. Right, perfect. So this again is because I overshoot on greens. You can only house three total. Yeah. There we go. And then I should probably move myself to show that I did it. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. For my final action, I am just going to try to score the other two posters that I have. You're going to perform? Yes. So I guess it it does kind of matter which die I take. Let's see. My total is nine. That's how much I'm going to have to pay at the end of the round. And you're trying to perform two of them. And I'm trying to perform two, which means I need eight. If I take this, that's going to get me to 10. I'm going to take the purple because this allows me to change it to whatever I want. So I'll change it to a six. And then I do have this trainer tile. Ah, one last trainer token. Seven, eight. That's going to boost that to an eight Perfect. specifically for performing. That means you're not so going to lose any money I by won't. overshooting. Yeah. Right. Okay, good. So then that is the last spot that lets me t uh, perform two posters. Cool. Okay. The two that I'm going to perform are these two. So it's the two small purple, that one and this one, the large purple and one small green. And then we've already discussed the crystal the requirement, yeah. the green and then that for orange. So that is everything. I have paid my fees. What did you get? So for, for let's do coins first, it's easier, two coins. Okay. Boom. <laughs> and then for points, it's five, 10, 15, 16, 17. Okay, another so 17. Another 17, so 98. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, 98, yeah. Ooh, so close. close. Okay, that is it. That is my game. I am done. So back to you for your final turn, Naveen. And this goes back to the main tent. Uh, yes, well, I'm going to perform as well. I okay. have Suhail here, and I have just the right amount of crystals to make this work. So I will take the four. Uh, mm -hmm. It's going to go onto here. I get one coin for doing this. Okay. Uh, and then, so now my power is 10, but honestly, I'm just going to, I only have one poster, so... I'm just gonna overshoot into here, which allows me to just uh, perform one. Okay. Which I have this one here. So Suhail requires two orange. I have one orange and one clear to represent that. Nice. Hence why I did not want to put them into this slot because this would have required an extra wild crystal. I see. Henceforth. I, henceforth. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. <laughs> yeah. I do decree. I do declare. Okay. Uh, that I'm scoring Suhail. <laughs> so we have two small oranges and one big. So, okay. Whoops. Oh. Let's go ahead and two small oranges, yeah. one big. Very good. So we are good to go. I'm making a mess. And then now this is going to score me 11 points. Okay. So you're at 112. Plus an extra three coins back. Nice. So I can pay my fees. Three coins. Three boom, coins. boom, boom. Boom. There we okay. go. Okay. So Suhail goes into my discard pile, and I am all done. And that is the That's end the of round three. That mm -hmm. is the end of the game. We still have to do end of round stuff, including paying for our dice. So my total is nine right. because uh, the other two are six. So I'm just going to go ahead and pay nine. Now, what do you have to pay? Uh, I'm on the hook for 12. So five, uh, seven. For eight, your purple nine, dice? 10, 11, 12. Yep, exactly for my purple dice. Nice. We did not have to uh, lose any points no this game, which is yeah. which is good. It does seem like it's not too difficult to try to find money during the round, mm -hmm. but that that fee, the point fee, is very hefty. It's still something to think about. Yeah. Now, we still gain a new MasterCard. Mm -hmm. So uh, since we both have our hats on this track, you return the lowest one to oh, right. you. Okay. And then at that point, starting with whoever's on top, you get to choose your set first. Okay, so this one looks like you get four points per every uh, purple uh, performer. Yes, that is four points for each. The, they're colored at the top here. So these basically act exactly the same. Four yeah. points for every completed uh, performance yeah. of the indicated color. Right. Ah, man, I, I, I feel like you took a lot of purple. 
<laughs> they're placed face down. I feel like you took when a lot you of perform. Purple. So I'm trying to remember now. Um, um, so I'm gonna take it. Okay. I will take. I will take this. There we go. And then I get. I don't. You don't have to take that tile because there's no more rounds. You <laughs> did <laughs> <laughs> That would have been like twenty points. Yeah. <sighs> no, I can't let you have it. Gosh. Sometimes well, not scoring is scoring. What? You know what I mean? No. For me, uh, like maybe I'm not scoring. I guess I'll take this. There you. If you don't want the swing. Nobody wants this one because nobody has any clear dice at the end right Correct. now. Nobody actually took them. Yeah, so. we're too afraid of the clear dice. Yeah. Clear dice can be useful. It's just so much extra cost, right? right? Yep. Okay, well, of the ones that you took, which one are you going to score? Well, it's the one that I did last time, but now I added one extra big uh, building. So I'm going to score this one. Let's go ahead and just clear these dice off. Mm -hmm. I'm going to score this one. So it's four points for every big building built. Mm -hmm. I have four now. So it's one, two, three, four. So it's going to be 16 points for this nice. one. Nice. Uh, 16. So, go keep that so there. you go to 28? Uh, to 38. Oh, oh, no, 16 sorry. You're right. Plus no, 12? Sorry, yeah. Okay. Math. Math. All right. Uh, well, let me just show you how, how many. I had purple. one, two, three, four, five purples. Yeah, okay. That would have been 20 points. I had to hate draft so that. So that was, man, I have, okay, so I only have two green, so that's not going to score as much, much. as um, this one. Because this is the one that gives you points equal to wherever you are on the performance track. Okay. And I'm at 10. So it's 10 points. So it's the same as as had I scored it earlier. Because mm -hmm. this one is, what is this, six? Yeah, that is, I think this is my highest scoring one. Very good. So just 10. 10 points. 98 to 108. 108, okay. You and the successful uh, hate draft there. I had to, I had to. And that is it for the end of the third round. So now we're going to do a little bit of end game scoring. Mm -hmm. So the first thing is, well, actually I have to discard this. Right. Because okay. that's done. Because we now score our remaining four master cards half rounded down. Mm -hmm. So this scores me nothing because this is four completed columns and I did not do that. Didn't do I'm it. I'm terrible at the camp section. This is four points per small green. I have two of them, which would score me eight, but instead it scores me four. four. Okay. So I go to 12. 12. Uh, this one is one point for each square in my largest continuous rectangle or square of orange. So it looks like so six. So six, but rounded, or half of six half. is three. One, two, three. Okay. And then my last master card is the one that I was showing you. I only have two green cards in here. Right. And so this is going to score me four points. I had the potential for eight. All right, so uh, it's 19, 19. 119. Uh, I've already lost. <laughs> okay, uh, well, we also have to score these points yes, on this yes. board. So, okay, so this one, uh, like you, I also did not do this. I did not get to the very end of any row. Yes. So this scores nothing. Okay. Nothing, half of nothing is nothing. That's nice. All right, this one is very simple. Uh, 10 divided by 2, it it's makes it 5. 5, so All right. 33. Uh, this one is the one I drafted from you, and I only have, I believe, one purple, which is going to get me two points. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, and then this last one right here, I get the max of... Um, oh, what you paid. Do you remember? Paid, yeah, it was, it, remember, it was 12. The, 12, yeah, okay. I just moved them off uh, equally, so it's so going to be six. six. Yeah. That's a nice one, actually. Yeah. 41. 41. Wow. Well, we're not done. We're not done. <laughs> you can now place any of your gems that you have left over, which I don't have any, to fill in any spots near camp. So you're going to want to do that. I do, yeah. So I have these two. I'm, I'm going to be a couple shorts. So it's going to be one, two, mm -hmm. and then it's going to be this one fills in that one. Wow. And then I'm unfortunately two gems short because I have to pay for Sohel, but let's just make it look nice I mean, and do that. That's pretty good. There we go. Uh, because I've only completed two squares. I think it's this, this rectangle, mm -hmm. right? And this one. Right. That's so it's going to be, so gonna be eight four points. times two, eight? Yeah, because it's four points each. Mm -hmm. So eight, seven, 27. Uh -huh. There you go. That is my final score. <laughs> okay. So I've done one, two, three, four, five, I believe. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, yeah. right? Pro, so wow. An extra 20? So 20 points. Yeah. Oh my gosh. 60. 61. One. What? 161. Wow. <laughs> Naveen. I did it. You are magnificent. Very magnificent. <laughs> Hold on. Wait, wait. We're not done. You get one point for every five coins. Right. This is going to be it for me, everyone. You're demise. It's one, two, three. Three. <laughs> nice. One, two, three. Uh, well, Times ten. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Okay, how about you? I have five, six, seven, so I get one point. One point, so okay. 162. That is it. That is the end of the game with the final scores are me with 130 mm -hmm. to Naveen with 162. 162. Congratulations, Naveen. You, you are go. the winner today. You are truly magnificent. I felt it. Everybody loves there your you show. Thank you. You're like they a came. roaming uh, travel you performer. You had some good shows, tent. too. Oh, thank you. 
Thank you. Yeah, some really good ones. <laughs> Well, there you go. That mm -hmm. is The Magnificent. Uh, we finally played it on the channel. We did, yeah. We've, <laughs> We've been, been wanting to play it for a while. Yeah, we've been planning on playing this for like two years, yeah. I want to say. Mm -hmm. But you know how the content train goes and board games come out. So many board time. games come out every year. Yeah. So I feel like this one just kind of got lost in the shuffle. Yeah, our Patreon but, community had voted on this mm -hmm. as second choice many, many times many in a row. Many times, so yes. So we just said, you know what, we're just going to prioritize it now. Yeah. So, and we placed we this up on the community post, and it does seem like the game it's not necessarily polarizing, but people either really, really love it, think that it's undersung, it's just, you know, something that needs a little bit more attention, and some people are like, meh. So mm -hmm. it really kind of runs uh, all over the place in terms mm -hmm. of uh, people's opinions. So if you've played this game and you have not expressed your opinion, we would love to hear about it. Uh, let's talk about this, shall we? Sure, yeah. So this is by the same designers as Revive, I believe. Revive, uh, They've actually designed quite a few titles. Avenue. Which Avenue one? was one. That's Which right. Is a flip and move. It was a flip and right. Right. Flip it was the right. very yeah. first flip and right I'd ever played. Getting mm. into the hobby, yeah. I actually really, really loved Avenue. Mm -hmm. Um, it was then soon followed up by Kokoro, Kokoro Avenue of the Kodamas, yes. which was sort of like a hybrid between a game called Kodama and Avenue. And in in terms of theme, I preferred Avenue, but these the the Aesthetic. actual game mechanics were yeah. better, I think, in that one. But anyway, those are different. Those games. are totally They're different games. Yeah, <laughs> but those, that's the same design team from what I from what I know. Right. They've also designed Come Together. Uh, um, come together, and I think Santa Maria. Santa Maria. Yeah. Yeah. So now we have a, these are all completely different games yep. that we just named, and now we have this one, which I, I think uh, flew under the radar a little bit. Yeah, it came right? out uh, 2019. I remember seeing it the first time was when we went to Essen 2019, mm -hmm. um, and then coming back, we also went to PAX Unplugged in Philadelphia that year. Yeah. And it was in the new kind of um, demo section for the games, the hot games that came out from uh, Essen. So. Mm -hmm. I saw it from afar and it was just so dark and I couldn't like really follow as to what was going on because aesthetically it is a very dark game. Right. Like, yes, yes, see. yes. Yeah. It's, it's hard to see. Just from looking at it at a glimpse, it's really yeah. hard to tell what this game is about. Yeah, so I say, felt lost like peeking over somebody's shoulder just trying to see what see was going, what's going on, on from a distance when it was just so dark. Yeah, thematically it's interesting because uh, people would describe this as like The Prestige, the board game, <laughs> if yeah. you've ever seen The Prestige. Uh, it really doesn't have anything to do with that. It barely really has any to do with performing uh, you know it's just the theme that was used it's mechanical it's it's very mechanical yeah, it's this very is mechanical. a euro game yeah. where you're just dice drafting you're placing polyomino tiles on a board and then you're trying to score objectives that are on your cards the, mm -hmm. the performance aspect of it really has nothing to do with it yeah. and i think that almost hurts it a little bit I think people kind of saw it and you see the cover, you see the board, but you have no idea what's going to happen. Mm. You know, like when I see another game by maybe a designer that uh, has a track record of a specific kinds of games, you kind of see it. And like if I see like an Ubi Rosenberg game or something, you know kind, of, what, kind of the idea of what you're getting into. Yeah, you kind yeah. of have a feeling as to what kind of a game that's going to be. This one, no idea whatsoever. So Monique learned it. Uh, when he taught it to me, I was like, oh, that is nothing like what I thought it was going to be about. <laughs> I had no idea there's even polyominoes involved. Yes. Yeah, yeah, me too, actually. <laughs> I think the idea of the theme is cute, right? You have, like, the tent on the board. You have your own uh, performance camps, and then every performer is has a, has a name. <laughs> But otherwise, the theme is sort of just applied. I'll take it. Yeah. I appreciate it, you know. <laughs> yes, yes. Anything. You just put numbers sure. and letters, and I'll take it. Uh-huh. Now, mechanically, I think it's a very interesting mix of mechanics, right? You have dice drafting, which is actually a mechanic that I really enjoy in We games like that, that yeah. I don't get enough of. Uh, there are heavier games such as Pulsar 2849. There are four numbers at that, the end of I that word. I know word. this starts with a two and a nine. And that's sort of a heavier a dice drafting game that I actually really liked, but yeah. you were sort of so-so I was mixed on it, but I would like to play it again now that I'm deeper into the hobby. Sure. It's like one of those. But this is a nice sort of a mid-weight. You know, that one's very heavy. This one is like a nice, it, it fits a very nice time frame and uh, strategic depth, I suppose. Yeah, especially at two players, the time yeah. is way faster than at four because there's just that many less actions being taken. Mm -hmm. In addition to the dice drafting, it also incorporates polyomino tile placement on your player board, and that's all in conjunction with just completing objectives. And so I think that mix actually works quite Quite well. Um, and I really like the the sort of very subtle penalties that the game imposes that you need to keep track of. Like you need to remember that you have to pay for your dice. In a two-player game, you have to remember that if you're a little bit further apart, 
then your the opponent gets to discard the pairing of master card and yeah. trainer tiles. That didn't happen in this game. And then of course the variety in the master cards as well as the trainer tiles. And I think that is sort of where the game shines quite a bit because besides those two, then it really is just claiming polyamino tiles and scoring objectives. But now that you have these master cards as well as the trainer tiles, it gives you a lot more strategic depth in terms of what you can do and how much more efficient you can be with your actions. Yeah, um, it, it's nothing new in terms of mechanisms. Yeah. Uh, even for 2019, like dice drafting was there, polyominoes obviously was there, mm -hmm. and then technically uh, order fulfillment, I guess. No, it's not even an order fulfillment. It's just scoring objectives. Just scoring objectives, like, yeah. So many Euro games have Yeah, you so, know, but it's its own unique combination of things coming together. All yeah. Resource management, that's the other thing with the gems, because you're definitely going to need those to yeah. try to manipulate your dice. But So nothing new, but I do like the mix of everything that kind of comes together yes. and the experience that I have, especially at two players. Right. The combination of those mechanics are sort of what makes this game a bit unique. It is a mm -hmm. bit of a unique game. Sure. I really like that you only have to keep track of three different colors. And depending on the color of the dice that you take, it really um, impacts what you're going to be able to do on your turn. There are only three different types of actions in the game, which make it very simple for anybody who's trying to understand how to play the game. Mm -hmm. But depending on what color of die you actually take, it's really going to impact what you'll be able to do. The game scales really well. So I actually really like it at two. Mm -hmm. I have not been able to play it at four, but you have more dice that you'll be incorporating. It's one more per player. Yeah. So it's just uh, instead of uh, three, 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 it's four, mm -hmm. four, four, and then five, five, five in a four player game. Right. And there is quite a lot of variability. So we have not tried the advanced setup. Um, it's basically the opposite side of your player board, and you can also draft your starting master cards. We just went with the starting Roman numerals. It mm -hmm. just made it a lot simpler for us. Yep. And uh, we liked what they do <laughs> versus taking the chance of, of drawing something that's not very beneficial for you. We're not experts at this game. Not experts so. at the game, yeah. We've played it a handful of times. Yeah. Uh, but uh, just being, we didn't want a situation where one person drafted way better than the other person. Sure. And then it was like, ooh, you're just kind of <laughs> getting kind of pummeled a little bit. We didn't bit. feel worthy of yeah, the advanced we weren't setup. Ready. So there is a lot of variability in the game, although I will say that even with the variability, it is it still feels like the same game when you replay it, even with different setup of master cards and trainer tiles. So for some people, that might be a negative thing. But if you enjoy this specific gameplay, then there's a lot to explore in terms of different combinations whenever you try the game. Mm -hmm. And that's essentially it. It is a very simple game. So there's not a too much more in terms of mechanics or, or strategy or anything like that. But if you have any input on what your experiences are, of course, we'd love to hear about it. Um, as for me, sort of my final opinion on it is I like it. Yeah. I, I like it. I just don't know that it has staying power in our collection because of where we are in terms of our uh, experiences in the board game hobby and the fact that we do this constantly. So we have to play so many games. Yeah. But for the amount of experience that I've had with it, I, I think it's a great design. Yeah. Had we played it in 2019 before really embarking on our YouTube channel, this would probably be one that we would be wanting to play over and over and over again. Mm. But now I think four years later, looking back and playing it, mm -hmm. it's like... It has a place on the shelf, but I don't know how often I'm going to want to pull this one off versus some other game. Sure. And I think you like you enjoyed this one more than I did. I think sure. I do. Yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah. this is like it's a good game. We, we both enjoy it. But I don't like you said, we don't know how long it's going to stay in the collection. Right. Although playing this game does make me very uh, curious to play the other games that they've designed. We yeah. have Revive. We haven't played it yet. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know there are some other titles coming out from Aporta. So very interested to see what they come out with. Well, there you have it. That is The Magnificent. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much to the Patreon community for voting on this one, even though it got second a bunch. <laughs> we still appreciate your efforts. And thank you all so much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, please consider subscribing. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.